So, I got up for a couple of seconds, and this happened. This is, this is Beanie. He's back from the hospital, and he's feeling a lot better. And he doesn't want to get out of the chair. Come here, are you going to let me get moving now? Nope. <laughs> so, the problem we have here <laughs> is that he needs to learn not to do this. Because, I mean, this can be a problem. If you can't get the cat out of your chair, that's an issue. But every time I try to grab him, he does this. He has little naked legs. He does. He has these little shaved legs because they had to put him on fluids. So he has, he has shaved areas from the IV and he's very upset about them. <laughs> he doesn't want to mess with them. I just want to, to sit in the chair. Oh no, look how comfortable he looks. He looks really comfortable, but he needs to learn to let people move him. <laughs> this is cat training 101. <laughs> Come here. Nope. <laughs> this is what I have to put up with. Come on. I'm going to put you back on my lap when I sit down. You're not going to be uncomfortable for that long if it's you tolerate It's his chair, it. he says. This is my chair. Yeah, Don't mess with me. He's decided that he wants this chair. Yep, this is, this is Bean Bean being a cranky pants about, my, about having his chair messed with. <laughs> Honey, you need to share. <laughs> you need to share. You can see he's, already, he's getting ready to kick me if I try and get his tummy here. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> come on, Bean. Oh, and my dog is very upset by this whole proceeding. She's very upset that she's not the one getting the attention. <laughs> he does that when he thinks he's safe. Okay. There we go. Got him. All right.